Hi everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Rice. I've just done like a filming morning and as I sit down to edit the thumbnail for a different video I've done today, um, this arrives, which is not meant to come until tomorrow so I was expecting to film another unboxing in the dark. And also as it's Tuesday, my upload day, maybe I can get this up today. As usual, I'm confident I know what the book is and I, again, as usual, I've read an arc of it from NetGalley. So I'm very excited for this. I believe the book is What the, Wib what the River Knows and I adored it. But we're gonna find out. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So like that is the, like, the colour scheme and the art of the book. So here's our little spoiler card. This is the box, this is the November box, this is the box that comes with the reading planner. This one has a story doorway, which is like a series they've had, similar to like how these Lord of the Rings bowls came like for a year, so one every three months. I've got a box that features one of those. We have the treasure tone pins. And even if I didn't know what the book is for this box, I would have got it as it does feature um, a dark shade of magic item and just fandoms that I even though I haven't read the books I love so I'm excited let's start with the story doorway as this is this one here let's have a look this I originally thought when I first heard about it was going to be the dark shade of magic item as you know it's got a big thing called doorways in that book but this is not this is the Starla Sea item designed with love by Ice Wreath at Ice Wreath I love our crate packaging so much like this is these little doors, these little shelves, so cute. Let's slide you open. Oh, it's a little, it's got like a little magnet. It feels like it should be magnetic. A little stand for it to go on. That, I don't think it's... Oh, I see it slots in like this. So it can be a book stand. So here's this. It's got a knife or a dagger and some things on it. And some keys. I have not read A Star of the Sea, but again, it's one of those books that I'm just fascinated by, so I love this. It says, for those who feel homesick for a place they've never been to, their doors have been waiting for them. I adore this. Here we have a little a little pouch. It's like a wallet, I think. It's got like, it's got like card holder slots. It says your story isn't finished yet. This book... Oh, this book... This box also has fandom neutral items in it, which again was the thing I was excited for. So let's see what this is. Let me turn around. Oh, it's not fandom neutral. It says, be prepared for any journey with our card holder inspired by Silver in the Bone. Designed with love by The Bitter Season at The Bitter Season. This is very cute, mostly because it's blue and I love blue. It's silver and shiny. It's got another dagger on like this. That might be a theme for this box. Give it open. Okay, there's nothing inside, it's just like a, it is just a card holder. That's quite cute. I quite like this. Here we have the Treasure Tomes Limited Edition Pin Collection. This one is Lord of the Rings. I've had a couple boxes this year, so I do have a few of these pins already, and I do love them. I think they're very cute. Because they're inspired by, like, books in series. And I have not read Lord of the Rings. I only watched the first film recently. Let's tell you a little bit more about this. Okay, the, all, all of these pins were designed by No One Designs. Very cute. So here we are. We got a little journal. It does. It just says featuring in-universe references. And as I don't know the reference, I can't tell you much about this journal. I will open it up for you. But here we are. Here. I do love it. I think it's cute. What it means, I don't know. But I love it. Then we have a wooden bookmark. I have the... I have the wooden bookmark that came in the law. Where is she? She's behind here. The Alexandra Bracken law box and the one that came in the Scorpio Races box, and I love them. And this says, I'd rather die on an adventure than live standing still. This is a darker shade of magic. I love this. Look at Lila. Look at Lila. And Cal's there as well. But I have this quote from one of my first book boxes that doesn't exist anymore, and I can't remember what it's called. But they had like little prints with this quote on, so I love it, and I had it stuck in my wall. And I've reread these books recently, and I still adore them, as nonsense as they are. I love them. So yes, big fan of this. Let's show you this side again while I do a little reading. Um, designed by. Oh, 
signed by Sarah or Sarah, S-A-J-R-A. Sarah or Sarah Fox, probably not either of those options, but we'll give it a go. And Lichen and Limestone, whose name seems to come up a lot in Owlcrate items. And now we have the Reading Planner. I got the Reading Planner in the box last year as well, whichever box that was, might have been like the Luminaries one or something. I started using it and then and I inevitably forgot about using it. And it's given me the inspiration to eventually make my own reading planner. Now that I've seen them a bit, I know which pages I would use, and I have a friend who uses them, and I know what pages she would use. I think I'm going to make a personal custom one at one point. But for now, it won't be as pretty as this one, though. Oh my god. Okay, gold, gold, gold. Blue and gold. Blue and gold. Let's see. Let's read some information. Reading planner... I believe this is fandom neutral, it doesn't specify anything on here. Designed by Jordan Fleming, who is at the pros and cons, and Michelle Gray, who is at the Michelle Gray. This is now boarding, and it says books are uniquely portable magic. There, love this. Let's have a look inside. Oh, we've got some reading challenges at the front. I don't remember that was in the last year's one. We've got some reading challenges. There we have... We've got like upcoming releases on the calendar page and like a pre-order list a library list the monthly wrap-up well the monthly wrap-up has like total books read best book pages read this is quite cute i think this is an improvement on the at least the insides of last year's ones because as someone who does a oh we have like a weekly calendar one as well you can't really see it i'm very sorry but as someone who does like a yearly wrap-up of reading based off like the format of the books i read the pages read, all those things. This is quite interesting. Quite nice. Might actually use it this year. And now we move on to our final and favourite item, the book. We will confirm if it is What the River Knows. It, it looks like it is. <laughs> oh, 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 hold, hold, hold on, hold on. What I saw coming out was this, and oh, that is... Let's... <laughs> Where are my scissors? So this book here is about an Argentinian girl whose parents work in Egypt as like archaeologists and they mysteriously die or disappear so she goes out there to like see what's what's going on and then she falls into this world she falls into Egypt and falls in love with archaeology and the mystery surrounding their deaths and oh, this book is such a love letter to Egypt and archaeology and the writer I believe is Argentinian or Bolivian but it has like a big focus on South American family cu and the culture and family dynamics and it is truly a love letter to so many things and you can tell this is the book of the author's heart. That's why I have to say about that. I'm very excited by this. It feels so sturdy. So here, this is, this is the cover that I read. It's just different colours and it's shiny. I don't know, were there crocodiles in the original cover? But yeah, it's about Egypt, so the River Nile, there's a journey, there's a, a very, very slow burn romance going on so it feels it's not quite enemies to lovers but it's got a lot of banter and they kind of don't like each other at first but i say slow burn because the first kiss is at 93 percent and as someone who doesn't usually care for romance i was invested in this and it says the nile knows everything the nile sure does and again as i was you know a little girl with fascination with egypt we're gonna we're gonna skin it we're gonna excited okay 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 so here we have um like little egyptian icons i don't remember what word i'm actually looking for but little references these are mentioned in the book because a big thing they're looking for in this book what the original parents were looking for is cleopatra's tomb and the magic she has and it sets up for a sequel as well i don't know if this book's going to be a sequel or if it's going to become a trilogy but there's potential for more so we have these little icons that are mentioned a lot through the book we have, I assume, our bestie Cleopatra. A look at her. Oh, this is so pretty. And the back as well has a different design to the front. And Owl Crate has really been popping off recently with special editions. I say this every time I mention Owl Crate book, but a lot of the boxes I've had, the books, even for the cover, they've just taken like the Law one, the Bone, not the Bone Hunters one, the Drowned Woods one, the Among the Beasts and Briars ones. When they change, make a special edition of the book, they just give it straight edges. And then they change the colour of the background. 
So when they do things like this, that is more than just a sprayed edge and it's got different designs on the front and back, I'm losing my shit. Okay, it's it's got a, a it's got it's got a reverse jacket as well. We have we have oh it's glossy on the inside. So the main character is called Inez, and here she is. I don't know if that's Cleopatra's tomb, but this is definitely one of the temples that are mentioned in the book. And I love when it's a book that I feel feral about as well, because I can look at this and actually understand the references. Like for when Sabine Drowning came out, I knew about it. I know I'm going to love it, but I don't look at it and be like, yes, I know what this is. I know what this reference is. I'm so excited. <laughs> that's, that's staying there for now. And then I believe I got a glimpse of end paper. Here is, so we have Inez, then we have this, no, we have Inez, then we have this guy, it's called Whitford Hayes. He, when she arrives in Egypt for the first time, he's meant to be there to immediately escort her back to Argentina because they do not want her there. So she is running away from him. It's very fun. And then, <gasps> this is, I'm telling you all about, this, all the spoilers for this book. This scene is like their first like big bonding moment where you realise that he might care for her. It's when they're travelling up the Nile and she falls overboard and then he jumps in to save her. And there's crocodiles. Very fun. So the author that's now bound in, I did love when they were separate like postcards with the, the book cover on and on the back it had the letter. But it's bound in now, I'll read that soon, and it's signed as well, and I feel so completely feral about this. But this is also not the author's first book, she has other books, and I will definitely be reading those. And this book is dedicated to Rebecca Ross, which I, lo I loved when I first read the art, because I also very recently read Divine Rivals, so I was like, oh, I actually know who that is. And it says, for Rebecca Ross, who fell in love with Egypt as I wrote the first draft, who cheered me on even, even as I reached dead ends, and who swooned when wit first walked across the page. And we just have a map of Egypt in here. And throughout the book, I noticed, I'm going to assume it's for, yeah, in here as well. There's like illustrations, because the main character in Nez is an uh, artist, so she is sketching the journey as they go along. She's there to document the temples and stuff. So we have these like, little lists, and I'm going to see if I can find the drawing. But in how the ebook was formatted, it was kind of, the drawings were kind of split into four and across four pages, so I couldn't appreciate them in their full glory. And here, I'll give you a little glimpse here. It's one of the little illustrations. But I am so completely in love with this book, and this edition of this book. I have nothing else to say. I was going to say I think this might be one of the best Alcrate boxes. I'm looking back at the items, and the items are, I mean we have this guy here, but this is it's like very small little like paper items, which again are cute. So I don't think it's one of the best Alcrate boxes, but I think this is one of the best Alcrate books, especially as it's so colourful as well, because a lot of like dark fantasy, this is historical with fantasy elements, but a lot of the books Alcrate chooses are very dark, and this is so vibrant and so beautiful i just i have no words so i think i'm gonna have to end this video here because i'm obviously losing it thank you so much for watching i'm gonna put the book jacket back on just so i can hold it up one more time but thank you so much for watching if you have like me read this book already please tell me what you thought about it in the description below if you just want to admire beautiful books feel free to gush in the comments below as that is all I have to say, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!